So let's add the last page. Well, the second last page. I always get ahead of myself, but we have the second last page. Page. Okay, now my speech is going, but we'll get there. So this is going to be called clients. And again, it's the source is just on users. And this one is actually be, going to be very, very quick to build. So all we're going to do, again, this is just for us on the back end. So we're going to build a table. It's going to be the clients. The title is going to be pretty straightforward. The uh, name is going to be the name of the client. The description is going to be the plan that they're on. The meta, which this is the only thing that you might need a, a uh, column header for, but this is going to be how many requests they have left. Um, and you can change this actually if you want, but I've just put it as request left. And then the image is going to be logo. All we need to do is change that from bold to simple. And that is essentially it besides, uh, let me just see if I've sorted them at all. I didn't sort anything. Yeah, the only thing we need to do is add a button to invite users and then allow people, allow you as an admin to click in and view their, excuse me, view their information. So let's get rid of this. Let's enable advanced. Let's show a detail screen for this item. The title bar action. We're going to make this in invite a user. Now, this is actually going to be hidden if you don't have any clients in your database. So you can do a number of things. You can either add a client just yourself, your business, just to play around with the app, or you can set up a new kind of hint with an action that we did before, uh, similar to this, to add a new client. But yeah, you, you can decide what you want to do. So in this, what we want to do is show a new screen for this item, and it's going to be a slide on a uh, slide in. Sorry, not a new screen. My bad. A new form, and it's going to be a slide in. And so when we click it, we want to add this to the users. So let me just click it on the other screen so I can get it up. So all we need is the email. And then what I'm going to do is add a choice. And this choice is going to write to the invite plan ID. And you'll see why I'm doing this in a moment. But what we want to do is let me just check that this is all good. Yes. Yep. So this is going to allow us to select a plan. Right, and when we select a plan, it's going to add that plan ID to the user's invite plan ID, and that, when they are onboarding themselves and they are creating the the business or the the client, it will in the background add that plan to that client automatically. All right, because you don't want them to be able to choose when they're signing up which plan they're on, because they could just choose the best plan. So you want to have that information already decided for them, basically. So this is required. And then obviously the email is required. And on submit, we want to create a new action. So let me get this action up on the other screen so I don't make a mistake. So what we want to do is close the overlay. We want to show a notification. Um, and this is going to say, invite sent. We want to then set some column values. Oops. Um, and you can actually, if you look at that, you can actually send emails through Glide, but you have to pay. So let's just do it through make. It's a little bit more flexible as well because we can have multiple things happening at once. So we'll set some column values and then we'll trigger a web hook. So the column values that we're setting, I 
think it's only one really what we're going to do is set the admin email you remember we were setting that row owner what we want to do is put in our own email so marco at lowcode.com and now the plan id is already going to be set when they are um, submitting the form so we don't need to reset that here um, there's no need then the webhook we've got the last webhook that we're going to be doing and um, it's going to go to the same place and we're going to add a few bits of information so the route is going to be a custom value data item number one is going to be their email data item number two is going to be the first name and I don't believe we need any other information. Yeah. So we can actually leave it like that. So what we want to do is go and get this uh, particular um, route that we created. And we want to name this. This is going to be admin invite a user. Save. So then we go to our little webhooks database. We copy this. We come back here. We edit the action. We go to the the thingy mill bob and we save it so now this isn't going to do anything yet because we actually haven't set it up in make yet but when we enter an email and we select a plan and then submit it's going to add a user to the users table it's going to send them an email they're going to click the link in the email it's going to go take them through an onboarding process and then it's going to unlock the rest of the app once they've done what we want them to do. So that is pretty straightforward as far as I'm concerned. And that's actually, um, that's actually all we need to do for this page. Let me just check because it seems too simple. Invite a user, show the detail. Ah, no, it's not. Ha! There you go. So. We need to set up the page. Uh, almost, we we're almost there. But this is actually very, very fast. It's exactly the same as the account page in terms of the layout, right? So we just go here. So what we're gonna do is add a container. We will add a title component. Um, we don't have anything, any buttons that we need to add actually at the moment. So what we're gonna do is come back here. I'm just gonna add everything and then we can we can customize it later. So we add four items and we can get rid of this title. And we can add another container. We split it in two. We add a headline, we duplicate it. So this is going to be an extra small heading, which is the brand summary. And this is going to be the brand guidelines that doesn't look right but whatever brand guidelines bring this down we duplicate this we make it text now I'm moving quite fast so sorry if it's a little too fast but you should be familiar with how the app works now so we make this the brand summary again we got to make sure that this is all set to the top underneath this we want to add an image and this image is going to be the brand guidelines and what I don't think I did before was allow them to open the brand guidelines yeah I didn't so we're gonna make this open link brand guidelines um, yeah that should be it so that would open theoretically their brand, their branding document, their PDF. So that's good. So let's do that here as well. And we'll open the link and the link we want to open is the brand guidelines link. So we'll come back to these big numbers We're kind of working backwards now. I'm not sure why, but it is what it is. And we'll make this all time. We will make this the current month and this is going to be the requests left. We'll make this the current month 
and this is going to be the requests made. We'll make this the current month and this is going to be the requests quota. So you can see that we've got all of that. The last thing we want to do, we are so, so close, um, is leave that as it is. Then we want to make the subtitle the website and we want to make the image the logo and we want to make the emphasis the plan name. We want to make it rounded and that's it. That's all we need. Now you can customize this more the client page if you want, but we don't really need it. Um, or what you could do is, for example, in the requests, you could pull in that information here. So when you're looking at a request, you also have their brand summary, their brand guidelines and whatever else you need to create designs that are on brand, right? So that's all we need for that. Now, the last thing we need to do is set up that webhook when we're inviting a user. To do that, however, we need to create um, a page. And this is just going to drag it. We're going to drag it to the top. So it's the first thing someone sees. And we're going to call this the welcome page, right? We, we do that um, and drag it to the front because we need it to appear when someone clicks the onboarding link. So let's do the final steps. Let's go to guide. Uh, sorry. <laughs> let's go to make. Let's add a final route, route, one day I'll decide which one I want to use. And this is also, again, just a message to us saying, yes, it's working. So um, we can put their name. Oh, did we include it? Yes, number two. So uh, that's actually not going to work because they haven't added their name yet. We're only getting their email. So we can put their email there. I just realized so there's a user invited and then it's going to show us their email. So I'm actually going to go back and delete that from the action because since we only know their email and we don't want to make more work for ourselves, what we can do is just send their email and then they fill in their name. So when I'm sending this, their name doesn't actually exist yet. So we can just remove it. We don't need it because that's the only information we're adding to send them an invite. So we come back here and all we're using is the first, the first value. We want to set up. Um, so what we, we can call this admin uh, user invited or invite a user. It doesn't matter, but the route we have to make sure is equal to the route that we specified here. Okay. So that's good. That's going to filter it like that. Then we're going to add a final email. The subject is going to be, um, you know, you're invited and then you can put in your, your, the name of the app or the name of the, whatever it is you can, I'm just going to say, Design on dem demand app. You're invited. And then the content. I'll bring in the content that I prepared earlier. So this would be sent to them after they've subscribed or paid for a subscription. Um, and in the future, I can do videos on how to automate all of that as well. So if they pay through Stripe, then it automatically does all of this. Um, but for now, we're just going to keep it glide based with a little bit of make, if that makes sense. No pun intended. So we save that or we um, format it a little bit. What we want to do now is we save this, even though we didn't make a change. We head to the welcome page and we copy this link. Now you can actually just send them to the full URL, the sorry, the, the standalone URL, we don't need actually the rest of this because what we're going to do is set up visibility rules where if they're a new user, 
this is the only page they can see so it's only going to allow them to see that but for the purpose of this tutorial we'll just paste in this particular page and that's all we need so hi there thanks for subscribing here's the link to log in and set up your account if you run into any issues let me know so we click OK no we don't we have to add an email I seem to always forget that one all right now we click OK now we click Save and webhooks are done right we have the welcome page this is what they're going to land on when we invite them so now we're going to do a little test and what I'm going to do is well it doesn't matter if they're logged in because we haven't set up any visibility rules so let's just test that that actually works so um, this is going to be billing at loco.com and we want them on the light plan let's see if that works I should receive an email you're invited design on demand click this to log in and set up your account um, that's good that means it's working and then if I was a new user and I clicked it it should direct me to the landing to the welcome page which it has and this will be the onboarding page and we will hide this once they've completed the onboarding so that's the last step we're going to set all the visibility rules for the pages we're going to add the onboarding um, to the welcome page and then we're going to go through in the final kind of uh, part of this series we're going to go through a full use case so we're almost there let's get on to the last onboarding page and then we'll we'll do a run through so see you there if you enjoyed that video or you found it useful, then I highly suggest you subscribe and hit the bell icon because I have a ton of low-code videos and tutorials in the pipeline for you. And if you like the idea of becoming a low-code developer who can create anything their mind can imagine without code, head to lowcode.com and sign up for one of our online boot camps. See you next time.